Hello Scorpio, <laughs> happy birthday, welcome to your November 2022 reading. So happy birthday, happy solar return, uh, may the light be your companion in every step of your path this year. So yes, he heard me shuffling. He saw energy coming in, and there he is, the little addicted boy, Mr. Black Buddy. Yes. So, I meditated on your energy, Scorpio. And what Spirit wanted to talk to you about this month. The first card that came out is the King of Pentacles and the Nine of Wands. So, the King of Pentacles Pentacle is your earthly... Uh, aspect let's say even if you're a wa water sign we hold the four elements within ourselves so the king of pentacles is the part of us that can you know make this world secure abundant uh, safe in what we can invest ourselves our capacity to engage ourselves to make projects ideas whatever uh, bloom there's the nine of wands with it so there's this careful scorpio here that affects your capacity to engage yourself into something the nine of wands this is when mm, you know i wasn't born yesterday i've had a couple of battles in my life and i'm not expecting the best um i'm wary of what is in front of course there's going to be this month the lunar eclipse in taurus king of pentacle is taurus so a lunar eclipse that means you know uh, it's going to bring up everything that is maybe distorted in that area so that you can eclipse it so that you can bring your attention to it and here it would be in how you deal your energy, your fire, um, your uh, fears, insecurities, your uh, perspective also. Because the Nine of Wands, either he sees all of his old battles as experiences that builds him up or as proofs that it is dangerous out there. The second card that came out is the Ace of Wands with the Fool in reverse. So here we have that mm, not so sure aspect. This month there's an Ace of Wands that, that is going to come down for you. So that means a brand new energy, a brand new fire, a brand new way to bring uh, your fire. But the Fool is in reverse. So that means that he is still carrying baggage. His wand is not free, just aligned with the sun here. He's still carrying baggage. He's still carrying all of these wands here. And he has a hard time jumping into this new passion, this new fire, this new direction. Um, but course something's gonna happen this month because you end up at the eight of pentacle so you end up actually grabbing that wand and investing yourself in a passionate way here eight of pentacle working seeing the fruit seeing the results of your efforts and so on so if we look a bit deeper here under the nine of wands <laughs> God, he's annoying. Eh? The Nine of Wands and the King of Pentacle. We have the Page of Wands in, re in reverse and the Four of Wands in reverse. So right away, when an energy is in reverse, okay, um, it just calls out to the effect that it's there, but something is blocking it. In this case, it's your Nine of Wands. If the Nine of Wands... Uh, was more in the case of here is my baggage, but my baggage is my strength instead of being my shackle. 
then I would be able to be enthusiastic towards the next step in my life, towards the next uh, path or whatever. I would see it as an opportunity to celebrate, to see things that are all upright, to pass through that threshold in order to go and experience something completely different where there's nothing behind the scene that's going to come and attack me, screw me, or whatever, okay? So you're right at that point. And we understand that this is really, I think it's directly based on how you perceive what is out there. If what is out there, I perceive it as something threatening that could take me down at any moment, it's going to be impossible for me to be all innocent, passionate, and hey, let's go, let's go experience this. So, of course, what is preventing you to be the fool, to be the page of wands in uh, this month here is going to become exponential. And probably around the 8th of November, it's going to become obvious for you because of the eclipse here. Oh, the contradiction or... What is preventing me, because I think even Pluto is somewhere in there, there's explosiveness. Um, there's, you know, it's going to be a little shake up, but this is for your growth. Okay, why don't you come here? Come and sit here. Huh? All right. So what is preventing you to actually jump in this? is the Three of Swords and the Four of Cups. So Three of Swords, Four of Cups. The past disappointments, hurts, and um, the aspect of me that could, you know, limit my references to what I've already known. This is a prison, and this is the shape of my mind. So the shape of my mind that actually hurts my heart. Tree of Swords. It is all of the beliefs, the way of thinking, the you know thoughts that come into my mind. Usually disappointments only comes from um, past expectations that uh, did not come true. And then we hold them as proof. And we walk around with these beliefs in our heart. So, of course, oh, that's a bit tight. It creates clouds. Everything is a bit more gray. And the Four of Cups, it's like, ah, oh, I don't even see how things could be better. I'm going to, you know, look at what I've lived and limit the possibility of what I can experience in this life to what I've already experienced before. Four of Cups. So, of course, the solution under that, we have the Wheel of Fortune. And the Wheel of Fortune is the will of life, the will of nature, the will of the wisdom of the divine. That's why you will have, you know, uh, Torah, Tarot, Rota, Ator. It's all written on that uh, wheel. You have the snake here of consciousness, the kundalini, the strength of um, the, <clears throat> the rising of consciousness. You have chronos that's just going to eat time until you realize what is the belief that is keeping you entrapped and preventing you from experimenting something different. The moment you get it, that's when you become sovereign of it, okay? The moment I realize what is the belief that is keeping me shackled somewhere, that's when I can break the chains. That's why we have the Sphinx with the sword on top. And in your case, what is the belief that makes me think that life will just be a series of ones that I will have to overcome, that it is impossible to just be light, celebrate that this option on the other side of that doorway is possible for me. So, um, 
then of course under here we see that you are going to um, invest yourself we have the two of cups and we have the king of sword so finishing with the king of sword we understand that uh, <laughs> We understand that the mastery of the mind is going to be crucial here at the end. And it is actually going to change how you invest yourself with people, how um, you interact with people, how you view the mirrors in your life. Okay, because the Two of Cups, yes, the relationships in your life, um, you're going to see like, Oh my God, okay, yes, I can invest myself in this relationship or maybe not this one or okay, this was what it was all about. Um, there's going to be clarity about your two of cups here for a lot of you uh, at the end of the month. And I think um, it's going to be uh, the understanding in what you really want to invest yourself. So, because, uh, you know, the Two of Cups, if we're talking about relationship, a relationship, it's all a question of a partnership. Whether it's there's a romantic aspect in it or not, it's still a partnership. Do we have the same goals? Do I want to put myself in there? Um, I have a hard time here pursuing that uh, path if I believe that it's just going to end up in a disappointment and a heartache. Of course, I'm going to limit myself to that. Therefore, that's what it's going to be. I think um, uh, for the, the ones of you that, you know, are more on a fence, more on a, okay, I'm in a relationship or a partnership or any mirror in my life but I'm more like this I'm watching you and so how are you gonna hurt me then that's all that's gonna be a mirror is a mirror you're shifting something about this this month let's clarify so we'll clarify here with this deck I call upon the divine I call upon the light. I call upon the Holy Spirit. Help me clarify this reading for Scorpios for the month of November 2022. Okay, clarify the night, the nine of, okay, yeah, all right, so it's our, um, it's our fool in reverse that prevents us from um, being able to invest ourselves, nine of pentacle, uh, eight of pentacle, and here we have the page of sword in reverse, and we have the seven of swords so uh, in reverse also so here there's a bit of the lack of the last knowledge let's say this when we have the page of swords in reverse and we finish with the king of swords that tells me that maybe you know on a theory level you understand what would actually allow you to be able to even more invest yourself into your life in a more sovereign way, in a more mentally sovereign way. And what I 
mean by that is to be sovereign. You don't have, you're not a slave of anything. Okay. You're sovereign of your reality. That means you're in charge of it. You're in charge of what is happening to you. You're in charge of the reflection that is shown to you. Uh, so when you're in charge, um, you're more, much more able to um, act upon it, to jump into a situation where you know that you can swim. I can jump in the sea when I know I can swim, when I know that, uh, you know, all the aspects of it. When I'm not sure about that and my beliefs are that the, you know, the, the lake can kill me and I don't know how to swim, everything is a danger, then I will not be completely uh, invested in my life because I don't have any control over what can happen. That would be the seven of swords. So you know all of that, but the understanding doesn't go all the way in here. Okay, so that's why it's in reverse. I've got the understanding, but I'm not using it in my daily life. Let's see that fool in reverse and the ace of wands. Judgment. Judgment with the wheel of fortune like this. Uh, we're, we're having a huge uh, wake up. Um, a huge, oh my God, I see now. I see the parts of me that are hanging on to an old concept of reality and are still giving this concept of reality precedence over my spiritual knowledge or over uh, what my insight has given me. Okay, that would give me a completely different way of interacting, bringing my fire um, into this life. We have the two of pentacle in reverse. That wake up, that judgment, trumpet in my ears of a higher vibration here is going to show up all that does not vibrate with this, that does not vibrate with the understanding that maybe I had uh, during my solar eclipse last month. Because Scorpio, Scorpio, you had a solar eclipse in your month. So... The knowledge came. It's not quite a, a, adapted. I'm still juggling. Well, now with this, the parts of you that are still believing <laughs> those things are going to come up for you to address them. Let's look at what you finish with the Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles for Scorpios. Right. All right. Letting go of resistance, letting go of a cycle of wants. So it's really your relationship here with fire. You're going to understand the how fire can be a strength and how it can actually burn um, or prevent you from moving forward. Um, it depends of how it is. Okay. So here, seeing the seven of wands uh, in reverse and the ten of wands in reverse, that means that I'm transforming all of those wands that were keeping me in the same place, on the fence, looking out. Um, I'm releasing the baggage that was preventing me to actually see what is in front of me. So that's, that's why I was just projecting my past emotional baggage in front of me. And I was resisting it because I don't want to relive this. So that puts me in a halt. This month, you're realizing this. And that's why you're going to be able to switch this around. Let's look at that page of wands. Ooh, okay. We have temperance. And again, that ten of wands in reverse. Uh, here we have the six of cups in reverse. So there's 
of course you're going to work on your waters because you're Scorpio, but you're going to release a baggage here, a baggage that pre that was preventing you from enthusiastically jumping and bringing your fire in new situations where you you will be able to invest yourself to commit yourself it could be in relationships it could be in whatever okay but the thing is that it's the baggage from the past connections that were preventing you from actually investing yourself and being able to have something that is just purely hey this is a joyful partnership there's no karma in there there's no uh, i can actually enjoy something that is purely four of wands celebration strength moon in reverse queen of sword in reverse so uh, working with the moon so I think that you had a lot of things happening maybe in that last month because you arrived with this here uh, where things that were hidden came to the surface but um, you haven't flushed them out you haven't changed your way of thinking or associated that what you're seeing what you're perceiving is exactly what needs to be cleared is exactly what needs to be transcended uh, to free you to allow you to have the next 5 20 40 years in front of you filled with light and joy let's look at that um yeah three of sword and the four of cups Three of sword and the four of cups. Yeah. Nine of cups, six of sword. Yeah, you know what? Those three cups on the ground, been there, done that, I've lived this. There's nothing more than that. Here, eight of cups. Is a wonderful card because this is the moment that we realize that no there is more there is more that I can experience and live out there and I'm gonna go for it so therefore the old beliefs my old tree of swords that I was walking with I'm gonna turn the page on it I'm gonna become in peace with myself I'm bringing my heart my mind into my heart chakra I'm bringing harmony in my thought pattern, okay? This is the higher consciousness, the sixes. So, and the eight of cups, personally, I think we should constantly be in the eight of cups uh, because const we never reach the point where we've experienced everything that we should experience in this reality will never reach it there will always be higher states of consciousness to or uh, deeper uh, feelings different feelings different ways of loving of absorbing light of experimenting joy eight of cups now, Wheel of Fortune. Ooh, that was quick. Ah, and here's our King of Pentacle with the Tower. So the Wheel of Fortune uh, is going to turn with a bang here. Okay, with the Wheel of Fortune and the Tower. It's really like, oh my God, my King of Pentacle, my relationship with nature, with this world, with Venus, you rule by Venus, uh, with abundance, with easiness. Easiness, I say, because he finds solutions, easy for solutions to invest ourselves and, and be in the flow of fruitfulness. There's a download, judgment, 
Wheel of Fortune, Tower, Scorpio. This month, you're understanding something uh, that is actually going to change a lot of things for you and how you're investing yourself in this life. And for some of you, it's going to be like maybe a connection you used to resist or that you were just in, you know, um, in the threshold, uh, in, you know, in the doorway, mm, my eye on the exit all the time. You, or maybe you're going to make decisions of uh, where and in what you want to truly invest yourself in and see the difference in how you're going to bring your fire and why it's going to give different results this time. Let's look at that Two of Cups. Ooh. Yes. Two of Cups. What's behind the Three of Swords in reverse? What's behind the Six of Wands? Because you're not in the Seven of Wands anymore. You're not resisting seeing the outside like, wow, if they can attack me, they're going to attack me. If they want to bleed me dry, they're going to bleed me dry. No, six of wands, this is like, oh, I understand why it was like this before. I'm back from it. I'm back from war. I acknowledge and understand the lesson. I'm letting go of those swords and those beliefs that were in my heart. And now my connections will be completely different. They will be connections that will not reflect all the time the sadness and the losses that I had in my life, but connections with whom I can build partnerships. Uh, partnerships in the sense of connections that have the same vision, aspiration, and capacity to invest themselves in their lives. Never associate yourself with somebody that... Uh, does not have the strength to invest in themselves or the belief to invest in themselves. And if you're the person that does not have the strength or the belief to invest in yourself, look at that right away. Because why would somebody else uh, want to team up? Then you would be riding on their belief and their strength. So, Always bring back into your own sovereignty and belief in yourself. If I cannot climb uh, a hill for the betterment of my situation or for what I believe in uh, deep down within myself, why would I truly do it for somebody else? So... That's the, the thing here. King of sword, there your way of thinking will be different at the end of the month. All right, because we have the 10 of sword. And again, we have the eight of pentacle. Everything that was preventing you from actually investing yourself. That's the Eight of Pentacles. The guy has his mind and his willpower chiseling reality here. He's passionate. He's focused. He's mastering his engagement into this reality. Ten of Sword, you're done. You're done harboring those beliefs that were actually betraying you and hurting you. So Scorpio, you're going to invest yourself completely differently at the end of the month. And that is a beautiful uh, birthday gift. It might come in a, you know, a bit of a whoo, harsh, disturbing way during the month. But while you're going through it, understand that that was the goal and enjoy the ride. Open, the more you're going to be open to receive the download, I don't know everything right away. I haven't lived everything. I am allowing the insight 
that is going to change my perception of this world and the way I interact with it. I welcome it for my betterment. That right away, the state of uh, mind will make things much more smooth in the process. So on this, my beautiful Scorpio, thank you for watching, sharing, commenting. Um, uh, if you want a private reading, there's, of course, we're passing through the website now. The website is written in the plus section in the bottom of the, of the video. Uh, for the ones of you that were inquiring about this, that, I made that for uh, the tarot course that's not quite ready yet, but it's going to be on the website. But I took a picture for the ones of you that uh, would like it. It's free and it's going to be in the um, uh, boutique uh, section of the website if you want to download it. Um, apart from that, thank you for the ones of you who uh, gave donations. It helps more than you think. And of course, on the new moons, I do a little ceremony to put the seed of the next month for you uh, to thank you. So to ask the universe to thank you and give you back. Um, on this, my beautiful Scorpios, I am sending you all my love and light. Um, I am also sending um, my love and light to all the women and the men. Uh, that are fighting for the freedom in Iran. So, all my love to all of you. Have a beautiful month of November. And see you next month. <laughs>